Hello everybody, how you doing? Uh, after working on the car during the daylight hours, um, I finished up, I went in, had some dinner. I had to help my son. He has a science experiment that he's doing and uh, you know, testing heart rate and exercise, that type of thing. So um, I went in and helped him with that for a little while. He's finished. It's really too dark to work on the car. I was going to install the mirror, but it says it needs to be above 50 degrees. So I looked at the temperature for tomorrow. It's supposed to be 59. So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to attach the mirror. Uh, other than that, you know, I got a few odds and ends on the car, but I thought I would get back out to the shop and do some more on my lighting. I'd like to get that done pretty soon. So today what I think I'm gonna do is over on this back wall, I've got the T up there. I think I'm going to drop down, put the light switch and a double gang uh, down there, just get that mounted on the wall, ready to go. And uh, I'm toying with the idea of splitting that pipe up there on the deck and um, putting an outlet up there because I thought about sticking my compressor up there and it might be nice to be able to plug it in or if I want it to, you know, if I was up there and I want to hook a fan up because in the summertime it's a horribly hot up there. So I think I'm gonna put an outlet right just before the end of uh, the, the loft there. And that gives me, it won't be used all the time, but it gives me an occasional outlet uh, if I need one for convenience. And I don't think that it'll be too bad. I've got a 20 amp breaker. That'll be three outlets and two lights on a 20 amp breaker. That shouldn't be pushing it because most of the time, I guess if the compressor's running, I could be running two things at once, but most of the time I'll be running one thing at a time. And I have had the compressor running uh, on the uh, outlet in the other garage, it's a 20 amp, uh, and the refrigerator compressor's running. So I feel like if those two things don't blow each other, cause the breaker to blow, uh, that I should be okay, you know, running running um, the compressor and, and who knows what else, maybe the vacuum cleaner, I don't know. But I just, I just thought it would make sense to have one up there for convenience. Hey, I'm making pretty good progress. Uh, let me show you where I'm at. I went ahead and added a box in at the end of this run. You can see I've got my fish tape run through here. I'm ready to pull the wire back to the main box, which you can't see it's over behind that box of antler. I've gone ahead and got my run down the wall. The top single gang will be a switch. The bottom double gang will be two outlets. We go back up the wall. I've got it all the way up to the elbow and I stopped there. I just have to get it across and into that light. And the reason why I stopped is I'm one elbow short. <laughs> I, I miscounted and I bought one too few elbows. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, attach the wire, pull it back and leave enough slack back there to be able to go down into my electrical box. And then uh, I'm going to call it a night. Tomorrow I'll come back and I'll pull the wire down the wall to the switches and the gangs down there and I'll pull a separate wire. I'll go tomorrow and get a, an elbow and I'll pull a separate wire up and to the light. So I made good progress and I'm really happy with that. But uh, I'll go ahead and get this wire run and I'll come back and close this video out for you. You can see the wire going up into the box. At the top, you can see where it comes out of the distribution box. All I need to do now is feed it into the wall and into the electrical panel. And I've left enough wire to probably get me to the floor. So I should have plenty on this end. Tomorrow I'll take this wire and I'll pull it down the pipe into the switch and the gang box down there for the electrical outlets. It's been a long day, but boy has it been a good day. I got quite a bit done earlier today on the car. I made great progress on this. I really wished I would have had that elbow because I would have gone ahead and ran the elbow or ran the uh, conduit across and into the light. Uh, I'll just get up tomorrow and uh, I got to put a mirror on my car uh, in the morning. I'll get that done and then uh, I'll run up to Mino uh, to Big Box. <laughs> don't say the don't say the name, right? Uh, my wife bought a floor scrubber and uh, I'll pick that up. They notified us it's in, so I have a reason to go. I have several items I need to return that I didn't need, and uh, there's one or two small things like now that I've added another electrical box, I need another. I need another outlet and another face plate for up there. So uh, I'll pick up all that stuff. So I wanna thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, we're getting close, it won't be long now and I'll be uh, powering these lights on. So thanks for uh, following along and hanging out and I'll see you again real soon. Take care everybody.